video. This one has been a long time coming. Back in April when I was over at Indy for NRAM, I did an interview with one of the guys from SAR. The gun that's in this box. As soon as I got my hands on it in Indy, I knew I had to have one. And today I was finally able to get it. And what we have here is the SAR-9 SOCOM. Alright, so let's see what all is packed up in here. First off, this gun is clear. It's got a empty chamber indicator in it. We'll drop this mag and we'll get back into the gun in that mag here in a second. And it also comes with a second mag and we'll talk about that here in a second. Alright, so we have got youth handgun safety from the ATF. We got a SAR USA sticker. We have got the owner's manual. Got our lock that we get with every gun. And here we have a bag of extra parts. Let's get this opened up and let's see what all we got in here. Alright, so we got a wrench for our barrel nut. And we have two back straps plus the one that's on the gun and it looks like we've also got extra ones for the side that's pretty cool so we got a lot of grip options with this all right we've got one two two different allen wrenches you know torx wrench We've got two extra screws here. This is an optics ready pistol, so I assume that's going to have something to do with that. Uh, it comes with this little tool to push the pin out to change your back strap. Looks like we've got an optic mounting plate. We'll get into that here in a sec. And uh, let's see what we got here. So, that's very cool. So we got us a full cleaning kit. I like that. And I believe that is everything in the box. Alright, let's start talking about this gun. So this gun is clear. Nothing in the chamber, no magazine. The SAR-9 SOCOM has this Cerakoted green slide. Kind of got a little bit of a different color green on the frame. And then you've got this FDE back strap. And then you've got the black and red trigger. It's just a super cool, very unique looking gun. Now the grip on this, and I've got some really big hands, it does kind of have... Your finger grooves here, which some people don't like that. You got this nice deep undercut right here. But this gun just feels great in my hand. It does come from the factory with this magwell. And this is removable. So if you were going to use this gun, say in carry optics in the USPSA, you would have to take that magwell off. So the option is there to remove it if you wanted to use this in competition. Now the barrel on the SAR-9 SOCOM is a 5.2 inch threaded barrel, so you can run this suppressed or with comp, and it is half by 28 threads. One of the other great features right out of the box, this actually has night vision, tritium night sights on it, and they are suppressor height. So by the time we get an optic on here, hopefully we'll be able to co-witness with these, but these are some really nice sights and they are very bright took it over to the closet to test them out and uh pretty cool option come from the factory with those sights now our overall length on this gun is 8.3 inches it's got a 5.9 inch height the width on this is 1.4 inches and this gun weighs 29.9 ounces now the mag release on this is reversible. I really like this mag release. 
going to be really easy to get to that without having to break your grip. Now I will be switching it around because I am left handed. Got a really nice accessory rail out here on the front. And we will be testing out some lights on here to see what they look like in a future video. The only thing it's not ambient on it, it does not have an ambient slide lock, slide release lever on it. All right, so let's field strip this. It's just kind of like a Glock. Pull back, get your takedown right here. You do have to pull the trigger and slide that forward. Show you what the frame looks like. Here's our slide. This does have a captured guide rod and spring in it. All right, I'm going to take this thread protector off off camera just so we don't tick anybody off at YouTube. And we'll pull this barrel out and I'll show it to you. All right, here's your barrel. There's your half by 28 threads. All right, let me get this put back together off camera. Come back, talk about the trigger. All right, now let's talk about the slide. So we got some nice, pretty deep serrations cut in this slide. And up here, they've actually ported the slide where the serrations are at. And this thing is just nice to grab a hold of and rack that slide on the rear or up here in the front. But I really, really like the job they did there on the slide. Now the slide on the SAR 9 SOCOM is optics ready. And looking at this, my guess is this is going to have an RMSC footprint. So this is not going to be RMR cut. This is going to take our smaller micro dots, which is fine. I've got plenty of those here. And after we do the first impressions video, we will put an optic on it. But before the end of this video, I will verify that this is RMSC footprint. All right, it is indeed an RMSC footprint. This is the uh, Swamp Fox Sentinel. I just had this one sitting in the safe. Now, I don't have it mounted up. But um, one thing that I'm not liking, and let me do this off camera just so we don't get in issues with YouTube. But as you can see here, we do have a plate there. So uh, let me come back and we'll talk about that. All right, I was kind of hoping this was going to be a direct mount and not have to use a plate, but we are going to have to use a plate. And I guess that's all right. I mean, we've got plates on a lot of the pistols we have here, but uh, just keep that in mind that it does use a plate, but it does come with that, but it is using the RMSC shield footprint. All right, let's talk about the trigger on this. So it's got a pretty nice trigger. So here's our take up, very little take up. Pretty nice clean break. Show you the reset. Not too bad. It's not the greatest trigger in the world. It's uh, a lot better than a lot of them. It's not as good as, say, the Walther PDP Pro that I have or any of the Canic TP9 or the Meta Series triggers. But it's not too bad. All right, I got the Wheeler trigger pull gauge here. Let's uh, zero this out. Let's see what we are getting here. All right. So we broke right at five pounds. I kind of figured that's about what it was from the way it felt. Yeah, it broke right at five and a quarter. Let's just do a third one to confirm. Seems to be a pretty consistent trigger. Yep, and we broke. There we were just a touch under five pounds. So not bad at all. 
All right, so I took the back strap off, and I can't show you guys any of this stuff because of these YouTube rules, but there's your pin. I just punched it out from this side that way. Now, I did have to use a hammer to get it started. Now, probably after doing that a couple times, it might loosen up enough to where you could actually push this with by hand, but I did have to use a hammer. So I just wanted you to see what that looks like, because I'm going to play around with these and see which one I like, and then I'll come back and show you. All right, guys, I wanted to show you something that I thought was super cool. Really, really liking this pistol. It's just these little upgrades, things that they do with it that I'm uh, impressed by. But on your sides here, it will say on the back, large left and large right. So there's no guessing on those. And your back strap also has large road in there and then small and medium. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. All right, something else super cool about this. So what I did is I went with the large on the sides and I went with the medium on the back strap. Now you can interchange these any way you want. You can use these in large, put the small or large on the back. And honestly, if you wanted, say, a large on this side and a small here or a medium and a large, you can do whatever you want with that. That's uh, pretty cool. I did get my mag release switched over for a lefty. That was really easy, one of the easier ones to do. And uh, really feels natural just getting to that release. And as you can see, the mags fall right out. One thing I did forget to mention on these mags are they are metal. Um, not sure who makes them. There's no Metgar labeling or anything like that on them, but uh, they look like pretty nice mags. All right, so there it is. That's the unboxing video of the SAR-9 SOCOM. Let's take it to the range just like this. I know it's not exactly how it came out of the box. I did switch the mag release and changed out the back strap and whatnot. But uh, let's go test out these sights from Night Vision. Um, and just shoot it without an optic on it for a first impressions video. Then we'll get an optic mounted on it. Take it back to the range for a review. We'll get a hold of Devin over at Spectre Solutions. Run this suppressed. We'll test out holsters, lights. We'll have a lot of content coming on this gun. I'm pretty excited to finally have this thing, so expect a lot of videos on it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.